Hey guys, we're back here in the shop to show you more of what we've got going on. So let's just jump into the projects. So it's rolling if you want to okay. talk. Okay, uh, we have the trunnion halves machine for op one. I have the forward trunnion half and I have the aft trunnion half sitting here. What I'm doing now is I'm setting up for op two. Uh, it's actually kind of cool because you can see how these go together together already uh, just by placing them on top of one another. And we did this when we machined out the other half and put them on there just to kind of see how things were fitting. So we dropped the bearings in there, uh, dropped the shock in there, and everything was fitting up really nice and we're really pleased with it. Now it's time to do op two, which is removing the material on the backside. So this is what the end goal is for the trunnion halves. I have them shown on the CAD here. So I'm gonna get going on setting that up and seeing how this turns out. So time to throw it up on the mill. Last time you guys saw this panel, I was just installing the switches and the breakers and everything you see here, but I hadn't yet actually wired anything. But that's what I've been doing this week. I, I've got all the wiring in place now for all the switches you saw before. And uh, with that, also the hardware to kind of secure the wiring so that when the plane is in flight, it stays motionless. So I'm um, really excited to see this all kind of come together. And just to kind of walk you through what you're looking at, you have all the wiring for the G3X plus our startup switches sort of weaved to this central connector here. This is the one connector that will tie everything in the panel to the rest of the plane. Really satisfied with how this turned out. A few changes here and there that we'll make for production, but everything you see here is something we would fly with. Again, I've, I've said this in previous videos, but this is just the uh, flight test profile that we'll be using. Uh, in the future, we'll be upgrading a few things, like we'll be putting a few modules in the center here. We'll probably be duplicating the G3X display over here. And I've left the wiring to accommodate those changes in the future. The next steps for this will be to bench test it. I've bench tested this in previous videos, but with all the new hardware, I wanna make sure that everything works as you see it here. So that's what I'll be focusing on next week. So yeah, really excited to get onto that. We are on op two of the aft trunnion. So it's just doing the finishing passes right now. This is what the part is going to look like. We actually model up the fixture plate, the stock and the final part. So just running through those finishing passes and finishing this part up. We hide the fixture plate here. So that's what it's gonna look like when it's all done. So we're gonna let this keep running and I'll show you a little bit more once it's all finished up. Let's talk about where we're at in the big picture. We've shown a bunch of little tasks like machining parts for the nose gear or making the instrument panel, but where does that all fit in in the big picture? So we've got the fuselage sitting here, the engine, and you notice there's no gear on it. That's why we've been having such a big focus on landing gear lately. We wanna get the airplane up on the gear so that we can roll it outside and fire up the engine and start playing around with the whole power plant and firewall forward. As it sits now, it wouldn't be very well suited for firing up the engine. So that's the big focus on the landing gear is so we can get it outside. Uh, additionally, there's a bunch of uh, instrumentation required when we fire up the engine. So that's why River's been focusing on the instrument panel. We can drop that in, hook it up to the ECUs and everything else, and then monitor the engine when we're firing it up. We also need fuel. The fuel sits in the wing, so we need to attach the wing and uh, plumb the wing into the rest of the fuel system. So that can't really happen until we get up on the gear as well. So everything is really kind of uh, funneled in around getting the engine fired up. All these tasks that we're doing are focused on that. Once those are all complete though, uh, we're going to be firing this up and making airplane noises.
this just came off the mill. This is our aft chunion half for the nose gear strut. And side one was cleaning up all of this material, making our bore, throwing some holes in here and doing some uh, pocket lightening. And then flipped it over and did this operation. So this is what I just finished up. This is all the geometry on the back side of it. And the aft trunnion portion has a little bit extra going on. We've got these mount locations right here. So at the bottom here, you've got your torque link mount right here. And then in the middle, you've got where your drag links connect. And right here, you've got where your gas struts connect. For op three, we're gonna be orienting it like this and then just punching these through holes in here. So it's 99% of the way there. We're really pleased with how it turned out. It's on to the next couple of parts. So I'm gonna jump right into that and get back to it. So I'm just getting set up for the next job. That concludes the shop vlog. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you like this video, leave it a like, leave a comment below. We'll catch you guys in the next one. See you next time. Okay, so I'm, this. I'm just getting set up for the next job here. That's, <laughs> that was the fully <laughs> <laughs>